An exoplanet that looks to be the nearest to Earth was discovered in 2016, according to the European Southern Observatory. The star Proxima Centauri's habitable zone contains Proxima Centauri b, also known as Proxima b. This implies that there may be life there. This exoplanet may turn out to be one of the best places to relocate if Earth suddenly faces destruction. Furthermore, it would only take a little over four light years to get there, which is relatively near by space travel standards. But given the state of our technologies, this distance is enormous. Discover how far humans have traveled into space and what engine will enable a spacecraft to go 600 times faster than lightning in this video. In the southern sky, this is the constellation Centris. The Alpha Cent Proxima Triple Star System is located in the front lake's knee. Right now, Centri is the smallest and nearest to us. It is progressing its enormous orbit, which is moving at a speed of 20 km per second. This moves at a speed that is three times that of the space shuttle. Because it will continue to move away from us by 700 million kilometers annually following this stage of the approach, now is the ideal time for us to investigate this fascinating exoplanet, nearly equal to the distance between the Sun and Jupiter. If we wait too long, colonization can be put off for millennia, or perhaps become impossible. Tori and Proxima are red. Its diameter is seven seven times less than that of our sun. In addition, it is eight times lighter and warmer. Even though it appears modest, you could make yourself at home close by. Furthermore, Proxima is 20 times nearer to its star than the Earth is to the sun. Due to its close closeness to its star, the exoplanet may have one side that is constantly facing it, similar to how the moon faces the Earth. The globe may be heated in half for this reason. Half of it is ice. Some scientists, however, do not consider this to be a concern. After all, seas on Proxima b may moderate dramatic temperature swings if they have an atmosphere. This exoplanet might have both air and water since it is larger than Earth. The angry outbursts of Proxima and the tower are an unpleasant surprise that is waiting for us. A red dwarf can occasionally abruptly become a thousand times brighter, and if it occurred, it would give Proxima B radiation. Therefore, both native life and Earth immigrants would have to seek safety on the planet's dark side. But before it begins to move away from us, we need to examine Proxima B to determine whether it is fit for life or not. And given the capabilities of modern spacecraft, that presents a significant issue. Why would a current spaceship waste so much time traveling to Proxima B to communicate? Let's set aside kilometers for this assignment and grab our space tape. The separation between the Sun and the Earth is measured in astronomical units, or O. There have only been five earthly spacecraft that have traveled ten times further in space than that, which is around 150 million kilometers. In 2006, the New Horizons spacecraft was launched at a speed of 15 kilometers per second. It has already been successful in exploring Pluto's moon. The probe has now distanced itself from the Sun by around 50 astronomical units. The twin spacecraft Pioneer 10 and 11 were also launched concurrently by NASA in the early 1970s, have achieved over 120 and 100 astronomical units. Two probes launched in the late 1970s are Voyager 1 and Voyager, holders of cold records in this area. Marathon Voyager 2 has now made more than 100 flights, while its twin brothers achieved a flying distance record of nearly 147 astronomical units. They only traveled two astronomical units. And in relation to the accomplishments of our probes, it is how far Proxima b is from Earth. And supposing the most sophisticated Voyager chose to travel to Proxima b, it would need traveling 1,800 800 times farther and taking over 74,000 years to do it. We have to pack our probe with fuel tanks to accelerate it in order to reach there more quickly, which would leave no place for scientific instruments and the significance of the mission would be lost.
Thus, we require fresh engineering approaches. How soon will new engines be available for interstellar travel? Both Hal Fien and Jim Woodward, Californian physicists, are creating a device known as the Mega Drive that uses Ma's idea. They hope that this project, which sounds like a voodoo spell, will usher in the Mega Drive era of interstellar space travel. It works somewhat like shaking on skates from the cold but it directs your shiver forward so that its power pulls you towards a glass of hot mold, bras and moves them in the needed direction with the assistance of electricity and a stack of crystals. Although wine sounds amazing, it must be fairly affordable in reality. Although NASA has already contributed funding for development, so far everything is still still at the theoretical stage, and that doesn't get you very far. The M-Drive engine developed by engineer Roger Schur went much further and earned the moniker impossible drive right away. Similar to a typical microwave oven, it has a magnetron that reflects microwaves. They produce a strong push after becoming caught in a cone-shaped object. That is an environmentally friendly concept that runs only on electricity. Unfortunately, a precise release date for the first prototype cannot yet be determined. Working in a way that perhaps earns its moniker of conquering Proxima B something more dependable is required. Additionally, the thermonuclear engine project is producing excellent results. The Princeton Plasma Physics Laboratory is currently simulating it. A deuterium spaceship with such an engine may travel to Pluto in just five years, as it will operate on the nuclear fusion energy of helium-3. Compared to the New Horizons probe, that is twice as quick and it would be able to get to Proximate B in 42,000 years. Not too terrible, but by then, our window of opportunity will have already closed. Proxima Centauri, together with their exoplanet, will start to swiftly depart from Earth in 27,000 years, based on estimations made by scientists. The only technology that has a possibility of getting probes there in time so far is that one. What do spacecraft that can get to Proxima B rapidly look like? The probe will need to travel at a speed of up to one-fifth if we want to examine the closest star system in the next decades rather than thousands of years from now. That's 60,000 kilometers per second, or the speed of light. It is comparable to the Earth rotating 1.5 times every second. Yes, it is certainly quick. So yet, only the groundbreaking Starshot project has the potential to, considering that common photons have impulse and may push anything they come in contact with simply explained. If you deploy a solar sail in space, the light of the sun will make it fly first. A typical rocket can launch 1,000 probes into orbit around the Earth, each of which weighs less than a chip at just one gram. Each probe will feature a solar panel that is 100 nanometers thick and 4 by 4 meters in size. Another chip, half. After the sails are set up, a 100 gigawatt Earth-based laser system will fire at them for 10 minutes, which is long enough for a fleet of tiny probes to begin flying toward the same target. Fifth, light travels at a pace that is 600 times quicker than lightning. Even a small amount of dust can cause enough collision to wipe out the probes that would otherwise survive and arrive at Proxima B in just 20 years. I guess the most important thing is to remember to take off the lens cap. After that, the images will be relayed to Earth, where they will arrive after another five years. Engineers are currently working tirelessly to launch Star Shop so that we can finally say, accomplished, that we've reached another star for the first time in history. But what will we see in the upcoming images from Proxima B, oceans and Earth-like atmosphere, or scorched desert. It wouldn't be a huge concern if Proxima B turned out not to be fit for life. Exoplanets orbiting each of the two stars in the Alpha Centauri binary system may be reached from a base on Proxima Centauri. Indeed, we are confident that we will locate something intriguing nearby. Centrus left knee, indeed. But if you want to know why we haven't yet discovered any aliens, watch this video. I discuss the Fiumi paradox and the various theories about how extraterrestrial life might be keeping something from us. I hope you liked watching the video.